Okay, do you drink soup? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's not my preferred method, but when I get down to like the bottom, if I can't get it into the spoon anymore, I'll I'll polish it off. Heck, heck yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> We broke Chris. He's broken. <laughs> it finally happened completely. All right. We're done. This Bail. is done. What's up, guys? And welcome to another episode of The Movie Squad. Squad. Our podcast has one simple mission, and that is that we leave no good movie behind. Now, tonight, we are headed west in a car that we cannot afford with a plan that we don't have. And joining me on this road trip are my co-hosts. We'll start with Phil. Phil, man, what's up? Man, just excited to see you guys again, as always. Dude, I'm I know. eager. I'm so eager exciting. to talk about nothing and everything with you yes, guys. Yes, I love it. I love it. And that this other is one of my favorite Donnie. things. What? I love this. Dude, I, I know. Podcasts. I know. That's Donnie, by the way. Donnie's not supposed to say Hi. anything until we say his name, but... <sighs> Just Squad. so you know, that's <laughs> if you've listened to us for any time, you know, the person interrupting is always Donnie. And so uh, so it's easier to identify. Um, yeah, dude, this, this is this is a great. This is a great. We, we, we all look well. You guys live close now. So for a while we were we were all at really crazy ends of the spectrum, Florida, mm. Michigan mm. and Texas. So we had this the this triangle. Weird, yeah, the weird we triangle. Nice triangle. Going. I've driven that triangle. Oh, the oh, thousand oh. mile triangle, dude. None of that. It's almost that. equidistant. Yeah. I've drove from Dallas to Michigan to florida mm -mm. or jacksonville i should say mm -mm. back to dallas all in it. about a two-week span once no so you headed west with definitely in a with a plan that you didn't have because that, that's a terrible idea it's a terrible Did idea not. um but now you guys are closer together which makes me sad but but this is this is still one of the highlights um of, come on of my, man of my week well, we haven't seen each other much this week because i've been on covid lockdown oh that's right covid lockdown my yep. wife has covid that's right. Yep. God bless her. And um, I had everybody wants to tell me that I have it. I don't believe them. Yeah, they're liars. But I might <laughs> cough during this show, <laughs> and I might pass out. So if I do, just just keep going. Fantastic. You will. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Pass out. L listen, Phil. I want you to know that there is nothing more important to us than this show. So if you pass out, me and Donnie oh, will yeah. continue going. We will not. Oh yeah, your help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will yeah. not even miss a beat. Show must go on. Nope. Show must go nope. on. That's right. So your if I go down, is completely irrelevant here <laughs> just prop me up and that's i'll right. come back to that's you right that's just right. tell gavin to fill in for you that's right yeah no. he's he's in the room just pull him over he's maybe well i don't know all right listen uh we're man i'm excited about tonight so we're we're just gonna jump in uh tonight was my was my week to pick a movie wait what are you gonna yes, say it was. how many times have you watched this movie before no like, well how many, how like many times general you or this just movie? this the last in two weeks preparation for the show in preparation for the show i've watched it four times that is a coincidence. Is that how many times you've watched it? That is how many times I watched Ted Lasso. I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> oh, I knew Ted we Lasso. couldn't do one That's podcast right. That's without right. you talking about Ted Lasso. Oh, we're going to do a spinoff of this episode of this show. I'm going to do a yes. Ted Lasso spinoff. Yes. And it's just going to be me and Chris because Donnie yes. refuses to watch it. Oh, man, it's so good. And um, it is so good. And second season is coming out June? July. 23rd. July. That's right. Oh, man, I can't wait. Yeah. Super pumped for that. Super pumped for that. Anyway, but yes. We're not I talking about Ted Lasso. Four. No, we're not. We're not talking about Ted Lasso. We're talking about the movie that we're here to talk about. It was my yeah. week. Um, we're trying to rotate, so everybody kind of picks a movie. And when uh, when we talked about this movie, Donnie and I were talking about how much we like it. And then we found out that Phil had never seen it. And seen rather it. than just kick him off the show, which is immediately what I wanted to do. <laughs> it was the great temptation. <laughs> we decided Why are we getting to kicked make... off the show for not having seen a movie? I'm just kidding. I know because I, I would have been gone a long time ago, but we decided to uh, make him watch it. And that movie is from 2017, Baby Driver. So here are the details. Um, of course, we just said June 28, 2017, the movie came out. Written and directed by Edgar Wright. It stars uh, Ansel uh, Egort, uh, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, Lily James, and Kevin Spacey. We're going to talk about that in a second. <laughs> Here's the uh, plot. Yeah. If you don't know what the movie is about. So the Hashtag movie follows a young. Cancel culture. I know. I know. The movie follows a young, quirky getaway driver in debt to a very powerful crime boss. After meeting the girl of his dreams, he falls in love and plans his ultimate getaway, but not before one last heist. Now, before we talk about the movie, let's get the Kevin Spacey out of the way. So I want to say this. 
I I was thinking about this as I was watching. I don't think I've watched a Kevin Spacey movie since all the stuff went down. And uh, and 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 I and I want your opinion on it. I felt like I felt a little hard to watch just because of everything. Like just, but he's still so good, man. Like I, I yeah. think he's great. I think he's a great actor. Um, yeah. So I mean, any any Kevin Kevin Spacey? Thought, we're not gonna really talk about him much, but any Kevin Spacey thoughts? Like he was good, right? I didn't oh, he's fantastic. <clears throat> I'm a horrible person, but I didn't think about it one time. While oh, good. Movie. Okay, there you go. Good. See, good. I, I'm with you on that. Like, I I don't... Like, I mean, there's a lot of terrible people in the world, and yeah, he got what was coming to him when he got caught doing what he was doing, but this is the past. Like, I mean, if yeah. it's a great movie, it's a great movie. It, yeah. I mean, there's... If you go back through history and art and music and literature... Yeah. There's a lot of terrible people, man, that are garbage. But I was just, just saying, when you I, said there's a lot of terrible, I said, yeah, most in Hollywood, pop, it, it's populated mostly by most those of them. people. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. It's like, it's like, can, can we never enjoy the Cosby Show again? Can we never listen right. to? Yeah. Can we never listen to Thriller? Like, right. Um. So, anyway, oh, don't no. All all that. I mean, Thriller is amazing. Anyway, all that to be said. All that to be said, uh, Kevin Spacey was actually, uh, it, it was refreshing to see him because I haven't seen him. I haven't really watched it. And, and again, I'm not saying that I did that on, like on purpose. I just haven't watched him. The last time I saw Kevin Spacey was when I watched, uh, what's the show he did on Netflix? The President House show. of Cards. House of Cards. House of Cards. Yeah. And so that was like. But he hasn't been in anything since No, 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 no. I, no, no I, I know. But, but I'm just saying like, I haven't even watched anything old that he has been in i just haven't mm. seen him until watching this again and i just was reminded and he's really good he is, have he's you a, seen seven chris really good actor. yes oh he's great in seven okay um oh, yeah i know why i didn't see this movie at the theaters by the way wait well why because i was trapped this is crazy like i just realized this while we were talking about it and i don't mean to get us off the kevin spacey subject but the year that I drove the tech, the, the triangle. Oh, was the year this came out? Was that year, that week, <laughs> that week. That's funny. I was driving to Florida. Yeah. June of, of 2017. Very nice. Cause June 26th was my anniversary of that year. What's that? It's my anniversary every year. And we were in Midland <laughs> and we left here and we drove to Jacksonville. That's crazy. Wait a That's second. Wait, wait. So you were saying that you are actually baby driver. I'm saying, I could have seen this movie in the theater with Donnie. You, what you're saying What's is your... you could have been in the, you could have been yes. in this movie. I drove through Atlanta. <laughs> what you're saying really though is for your anniversary you went to Jacksonville. <laughs> okay. We we apologize no. Carrie for no, for my anniversary that year I was supposed hey, to see I Brian Regan live but it got canceled. I love Jacksonville, don't get me wrong, but it's not exactly an anniversary mecca. Let's be clear. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's talk about. I know the we movie. have some Jville listeners. Let's, so let's talk about. Oh yeah, we definitely have. Some. Yes. Yeah. Shout out. Uh, yeah, to the nine oh four. All right. Listen. Um. So let's do this. All right. Before we before we jump into because I have a ton of things to talk about because I love this movie. Oh great. Uh, let's talk about let's talk about first experience. So I saw this in the theater. We just heard Phil didn't. Uh, Donnie, do you, do you see it in the theater? I did not. I saw okay. it on uh, video. Okay. Okay. I saw it um, twice. And I watched it twice for this. Okay. So I saw it in the theater twice because I had wow. no idea what it was. Um, and, and I ended up going to, to see it um, mostly because I like Edgar Wright and, um, and I was completely blown away. And so I went again with friends. I actually went the first time by myself. And then I went again with a couple of friends because I thought it was great. Um, so uh, my initial impression, I mean, from the time I walked out of the, the, the theater, I was in love with this movie. I mean, Donnie, I assume you felt the same way. Oh, this movie's I liked it. It's fantastic. I mean, I love this movie. So, Donnie, how many times have you seen this movie? You said two in before. I and saw two it two before, and I saw it two in prep. So four times, same amount of times I've seen Ted Lasso. <laughs> I'm, I'm I will leave. just don't say leave this <laughs> Just don't say anything with the number four anymore. All right, just I just will never watch another... this show if you guys keep pushing me. I'm gonna I'm gonna shy away until you stop pushing and then one day when you're done pushing i'll pop it down and be like okay it's all right all right no more ted lasso talk let's talk I, baby driver so phil I, who yes. is Ed, who is edgar Wright? okay did i not are, i didn't do this, my homework we're going <laughs> i'm being dead serious okay. he's right, a kid well, he's baby driver i presume Scott, so, no, no, Scott no 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 versus no. the world yeah, never seen it right oh 
that's a great movie so edgar wright is is, oh. is a director he's a writer and director i mean he, okay. he i think he does he has done some acting but um he's known for Shaun of the dead it was like that was his Never first seen it. see i haven't either but that was his first like slam dunk so he did he Jeez. did Shaun of the dead he did hot fuzz and he did the world's end which are all three with uh, simon Pegg and nick Frost. right it's a trio and they're it's referred a to and the cornetto the cornetto trilogy yeah, yeah i've seen none called. of them okay now they're, they're all three. they're all great they're not they're, they're not connect i mean they're not like the same people they're playing different people in each mm -hmm. one no 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 but, totally but, different. but they are shared actors and stuff um and uh everything from them had been great uh um the first movie that i saw of his was scott pilgrim versus the world which is based on a graphic novel um which basically is about a guitar player in a band who falls in love and in order to uh to date this girl he has to defeat her seven evil ex-boyfriends and it's well, like a well and a date, girlfriend dates yeah dates yeah, no. seven x dates X's, um, seven x and so it's kind of like a it's kind of like a video gamey um i've seen clips uh, yeah it, i've it, just it, never it, seen it, the whole movie yeah it's, it's, it's really it's good really, it's a really good movie yeah it, it's kind of like a a less stupid more video game version of napoleon dynamite um and i'm and i'm, Dude, I'm here for it huh wait are you, you gonna not, you, do you know you called napoleon, napoleon dynamite, dynamite no 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 no, 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 no i'm just saying like like napoleon dynamite napoleon. is just like like it's stupid like it's just the, the stuff that they do is just really stupid like oh, heck scott yeah. pilgrim is not is not like there it's the same kind he of takes dry, itself more seriously yeah dry comedy like 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 just self-aware yeah. comedy sometimes but it's not stupid yeah it's That's good I mean. that, it's good stuff who's that who's scott pilgrim in that it's not uh mike michael Cera. michael Cera, yeah it was him yes yep. it was yep uh brie larson from in that. Uh, chris evans is in that uh brandon rouse in that um it's a great kind cast. of a career maker yeah it, it, it's really good so then he did so he actually wrote the original treatment for ant-man for marvel that's right. And he he wrote the first draft of Ant-Man, but due to creative differences, he walked away from the project. So the actual Ant-Man that came to the theater wasn't his final vision, though, even though he did get writing credit on it. And some of the stuff is definitely from his original take, but they, they took it into a different direction. So he never he did, seen it. That would have been you did see Ant-Man. I'm just trying to get you going. <laughs> oh so Ant-Man was in 2000. 15 and then we get 2017 which is baby driver so that's where we are uh but he's just uh edgar wright's just kind of a quirky comedy um director but yes. but not not all his other movies are not musical so so let's so let's just start there um th how, how the music of this movie is amazing this like, movie it's, it's is music it's music it's like you it's like one giant music video you would consider this movie a musical no, no, I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. It, oh, in the in the special features on the Blu-ray, they call it a bank robbery musical. Oh, that's everything. Funny. Everything in this movie, they actually film it to the music. Yeah, everything. The gunshots, the gunshots, way people walk, cuts. when they put money on the table. Yeah, it's all to trunks a closing. Mm -hmm. It is all to the rhythm of the music. It yeah. is a bank robbery musical. Mm. It is all about sound and music. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's. But fantastic. there's a mute guy in it. Th th there is, yes. True. Who, I think that's part of the part of the charm. And <laughs> yeah, and, oh. yeah. He puts his hand on the speaker. But it's everything. If you John Bernthal, come on, John Bernthal's in this. Not movie? enough, John Bernthal. So good. In this movie. No, I, I agree with Very that. Very brief. But this is yeah. really early for him. Um, uh, not really early, but like he, I don't think he, he isn't the person he was now then i don't think um, that was before your, your post walking and... dead oh yeah i guess so yeah um come on chris i don't i don't want walking dead when i, I saw him in cares. the first scene in the opening uh, you know scenes yeah i i presumed uh, when i saw the credits and i saw bernthal's name and john ham's name and jamie fox's name but jamie fox wasn't in that first crew i was i was trying to figure out how they're going to bring all those people back together and i was surprised that they did not bring bernthal, bernthal back, back into in. the into the movie yeah he's yeah. in it very briefly like he's yeah, so good briefly. and he's super good in this yeah even no, though he's, he's briefly in it like he's, he's great a yeah. cool guy um they, the whole cast of this movie is fantastic oh they're so I mean, good uh, all of this I, no i agree yeah no what i was going to say about, about about music if you so if you john bernthal when he gets out of the elevator um, right. He makes a comment about mommy and daddy making out. And then he's like, and then John Han asks him, where do you get off? And he's like, right. 
Bing, ding, here. and it's on the beat. They do that again. They come back to that again whenever uh, Doc goes to uh, Baby's house, his apartment, and he talks about the stairs. He's like, "No, we have an elevator." <coughs> so he goes and pushes the elevator, and then and then I forget exactly what Doc's words are, but Doc says something right as the elevator bings. And then he walks yeah. out. And then there's the scene where they do the 360 at the restaurant wherever, whenever Baby and Deborah are, are together. And they, they pan it around with, with the music right to the time where you, you, have, a, you have a hi-hat right where um, they look at Doc and Doc holds up his drink and kind of is like, bing. And so you, you just, like, it's just so, so great. It's just so good. The music cues in this movie are fantastic. And the song selection is great. So let, let's start there. Was you, do you have a favorite song from the movie? We have, we have a favorite song. I like the first one. Bell Bottoms is pretty dang Bell good. Bottoms, yeah, Bell Bottoms is good. How? Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask is you. Is that this. the one that he's actually driving away from the bank to? No, 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 well, no, no. It's it's where it's he, well, it one. is, but it's the opening <laughs> scene, and he's sitting in the car, uh-huh. and he's just totally kind of stoic, just sitting there. He's like banging the on the door. Kind of and he's, no, no, no. Uh-huh. Before that, before, oh, before that, all yeah. that, and he just all of a sudden he's like, ah, and yeah, he starts singing, and yeah, then it's like. And then yeah. he's singing to the wipers and he's drumming. And I was it. surprised by that. I know. You don't know what's going on. You're like, what's wrong with this dude? And then it's yes. like, oh. Well, just yeah. going it's- into the movie, I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. And so I thought he was, uh, I was immediately surprised by Baby's, um, I don't know what the word is, but like how act, like I just assumed the whole movie, he would be very quiet. He wouldn't say much at all. And he wouldn't be very responsive. Like he'd be pretty stoic throughout the movie. But you, as as soon as you're introduced to him, he's very dynamic, and he gets you know. Yeah. I mean, he, he's. I was but, surprised. But by that. mostly when he's by himself, he isn't yeah. like that in the group right. setting. So right. it's yeah. just when he's walking across the street to get coffee by himself. When he's in the car by himself. Yeah. When he's with his to his music. Yeah. To, to his, his music. music. Yeah. 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 He's dancing around. And yeah. He even um, says to the girl. <laughs> he says to the girl to Deborah. He says. I've said more to you tonight than I've said to anybody else in a year. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. so yeah. He, he's yeah. not real social. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I, I do agree with that very first scene. You don't really know what you're getting into. Cause he, he almost comes across as like super autistic maybe, or um, yeah. like, like so, something, you know, something right. mentally just different. And, and, and I think that it, it, it's, it's smart because I think the movie plays to that with Bernthal, you know, coming up and being like, you know, is he slow or like, is there something wrong with him? Cause he's, he's now experiencing him with the audience. Like, right. We, we're in the same category because Bernthal, you don't meet the team, right? Doc, Doc says later, he never does a, a job with the same team. So it was the first time that he had, had ever met Baby. So he's asking the same questions we're asking. Like, is this dude all right? Like, what's going on? I yeah. love that interaction with them, by the way. When he slaps, when, when, when he takes the glasses off and he turns around and he's talking and he puts another pair of glasses on and then he slaps them off and then, and then he puts another pair on. I just, yeah. I love it, man. Where, so where does he get all the sunglasses and iPods? He gets them from the cars that he steals. The cars he so, steals, yeah. Yeah. So good. So, so good. Yeah. He's got a ton of them. He's got, yeah. How many iPods it. does he have? He has like 50 of them laying on his table. Yeah. So good. iPods. So, good. so does he, iPod. uh, so does he just adapt whatever playlist is on the ones when he steals them or does he modify his his you know what i'm saying like does he i took it as he modified him with his own music i guess see i, I know see i i i don't be i i, 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 I would the, i would the... the opposite yeah i just think i just oh, think he finds be. the songs that he like because if you if you'll remember so, and, and so, so there's a couple things so if you remember um the second time when he comes back uh or no it actually the third time when ham and, J- and jamie fox are there together and ham goes over and is like what's the song you know like like what is and, yeah. he, and he's like what's your yeah. What does he call it? Your speed I'm for, song? I'm for, your, yeah, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah, but he's like Brighton Rock, and he's like, "Do you have?" It? And he and he and he's like, "I have it on this one." Right. So like that's if he true. would, if he yeah. was controlling it, he would probably have it on all of his devices. No, but I, but, but I think he, I think he just has it um, like that. The the other thing that 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 I, that I think kind of leans to that is when he's talking about Deborah from T Rex um, at the, at the cafe, he calls him Trex. Yeah. Right. So, so it, it, he it doesn't know that he doesn't group. know. He just picks he just up knows and he's just song. like, yeah. And he sees the name and he's like, oh, I guess it's Trex. Wow. You know, so that makes sense. Yeah. God, I love this movie. I should have watched that, this that movie whole... four times. <laughs> well, the, you know, you could have if you were watching Ted Lasso four times. So, stop with the Ted. I, I was mean... being an evangelist. I was, I was winning the, people over. The interaction, though, between, um, uh, 
Buddy and uh, and Baby with that song, that Queen song, Bright and Rock. Oh, so good. Foreshadows the end when they end up battling each other to that very song. Yeah, they're sitting there yeah. listening to it together, sharing uh, ear, you know, the earbuds. Yeah, and then and then later the same song there. They're yeah. trying to kill each other, yeah. and it's it's kind of an interesting contrast. So I thought that was cool. Yeah, I, so I I found the I found the dynamic with John Hamm really great, and so uh, and I, and I'll tell you, I actually thought the very first time I saw this the movie, I I actually thought John Hamm was going to turn out to be the good guy. I thought that especially in the scene right when Baby's going to leave, and, and and they and what's great about this is is they do. Edgar Wright does a great job of like setting these seeds from the very beginning when he gets off the elevator and John Han tur turns around and he says, baby, when Doc calls you next time, don't answer. And then, and then you yeah. get the scene where he's going to leave to go meet Deborah towards the end of the movie. And John Han's like, if you're just in this for, for the rush, like drive away and don't come back. And I think he would have really let him go. And so even up to that point, I was like, okay, Jamie Foxx is the bad guy. And like John Hamm is gonna gonna somehow you know you know turn and like help baby escape or or what like uh, up until that point that's what I thought I thought John Hamm was going to be the good guy at the end either you know sacrificing himself for for baby or or helping baby get away or whatever and when they kill darling spoil oh I mean guys you know this we're gonna spoil this entire movie when they kill darling and John Hamm loses his crap like I yeah. I, I was not expecting it and I thought it was such a great such a great twist. Um, that scene when when she dies and he's got the the right the uh the machine gun whatever in his hand he fires to the beat all those shots yeah. are to the yes. beat of the song that's so playing good. so good. and they did that on purpose when they were filming it here's the thing about this movie i didn't know this until i watched the uh, some of the stuff but he has an editor on set and they edit it while they're <laughs> shooting it, which is very unusual so like they're actually playing it to the music on the set and making sure on the spot that this is matched up just how we want yes. to be. And, and so it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But, and the uh, characters are wearing, the actors are wearing earwigs. So they hear the music that they're playing. Yeah, they can, to. They're, they're all playing to it. Yeah. Which is, which is great. It's pretty. So along those lines, there are two that would sequences. be really fun. Yeah, I think so. Like, I think if you were the cast and you were working on, like that would be a really memorable experience. Yeah. Well, I, the stunt drivers yeah. even talk about how they're filming a, the car chase to music. Yeah. And the guy's like, it's pretty crazy, but it was kind of fun, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. And so, I mean, it's so be. Edgar Wright comes in and he's got this. He says that he built the whole movie on a song that he heard when he was a kid. And he had all those years he was going to write a movie to that song as a, as a chase song. And that's what it ended up being. So it was all yeah. about the music, the whole thing about Yeah, music. 22 years. So um, there were two scenes. There were only two scenes that extended beyond the song that he had written for them. But, um, and so they did it in two different ways. So the first one was the, um, the highway chase where they have to get out of the car with the Mike Myers mask. We'll come to the back to that. Um, and then they had to go oh, yeah. and, and take the pregnant uh, or the lady with the baby, take her car. And if you'll remember, baby gets in the car and he reverses the song. The whole yeah, entire like, reason, oh, I need to go back. yeah, the whole entire reason that's there is because in order to finish the scene, they needed more time of the song. And so right. they wrote it into the script so that they could finish the scene in time with the song, which is brilliant. And then, um, and then the other one is the scene where they all go to the diner um, towards the end, uh, and uh, all the four you know people. This is when they go there, and he's like, "I hate that place. It sucks." Yes, yeah, that, yeah, that, And then they that yeah. scene. So he comes in. I forget the song. So he comes in with um, "Something's Wrong with My Baby." That song. Um, that's playing. It's, it's like a slow song. And then, and then it cuts to, and I forget. I forget the other song, but but there there's a midway point where it kind of, it kind of it, it basically just just cuts to a different song because the, because something wrong with my baby wasn't long enough for the scene, and so they ended up just kind of mashing it up with another song so that that's two songs playing. Um, I, I I thought I I didn't write it down, but anyway, so that that that's kind of cool. <clears throat> the music's great. Before we transition, I just want to note that Chris is deftly plugging home depot subliminally every time i know i i, I keep <laughs> that's, right, that's right that's right so i have i have my this episode brought to you by 
Home Depot. Home Depot. So I have my I have my blur on because my garage is a mess. You know, we're getting ready to move. So everything behind me are Home Depot boxes. And for some yeah. reason, when I put my hand up like this, it thinks that I'm trying to point to Home Depot. It's so yeah, beautiful. I am brought to you tonight by Beetlejuice. And That's right, Robocop. Robocop, which have nothing to do. With Classic. <laughs> With hey man, uh, Arnold is Arnold's gone. I took Robo's down, cops getting out of a car. That's right. Uh, that's Robo-Cop true. Robo's cop is that's getting true. out of a car. Check and and in Beetlejuice, they die in a car. They you die know? in a car wreck. So come that on, how right. about that? Boom. Okay, let's uh, let's walk through a couple things um, uh, in the movie. Let, let's let's start with um, let's start with the opening openings. Well, first of all, let's start with the driving. <clears throat> so Edgar Wright actually um, called. Um, uh what's the oh crap uh george miller no that's not that's not right is it who's the uh who's the um the uh mad max Her, mad max Lord. guy george miller george oh i was right okay so he, he actually consulted george miller on on the on how to shoot practically basically the entire car scenes they're all real like like hmm. yeah they're all done. They're all practical, practical. Drive. The only CGI that, it, that it's involved in them is replacing the stunt drivers with the real people or with the actors. But the actual driving itself is all legit, like driving, which is amazing. So let's start with the opening scene. The opening how do they scene, do that? So how do they do that? Do they, do they wear, do they just use CGI to erase their faces or do those guys wear like green suits? No, I, I think... Well, um, Oh, go ahead, the Adam. actors drove the actors did drive a lot in a lot movie of it yeah yes. yeah yeah but yeah I, I it's like i don't know like remember terminator 2 when you could see the stunt man on the motorcycle and they went back in on video and they totally just took his face off and stuck in yeah. you know arnold's face on i don't know i guess that's what they do now i just didn't know that yeah with yeah. technology now i didn't know how they I, th- I, th- I think a lot of times it's um yeah it, it's it, it's like that it's it, it's either you know they kind of dress the part um and they just kind of cgi people, the face out we can make yeah. people younger now so i guess uh, why not do true. that it's like it's got to be pretty easy that's true the opening scene is one of the best opening scenes i think i've ever seen the uh the subaru the subaru drive uh that red car i mean i love that it's red it's like it's just a stark red um i love that they don't they don't really up until you get to like the really souped out dodge charger at the end pretty much every every car in this in this movie is like just average car you know which yeah, which, yeah. which i kind which i kind of dig um but yeah the whole the whole three red cars you know and the overpass that like cool, that, yeah. oh, man, that whole thing so is cool. so great oh my gosh the it, when they're in the when they're in the car at, at the bank and they run the the three run back when they after they rob and they get in the car and and john uh bernthal he he like goes like this and he hits and he, <laughs> and he, he goes reverse, reverse. <laughs> he's like I love the physical, uh, the physicality, like, uh, you know, he, he's, he's basically Bruce Lee with a car, you know, you have, you have the scene where he, he, uh, he was, he's able to turn and hit the road spikes out of the way oh, so yeah, the yeah, cop yeah. hits it and then and then in the second heist he actually hits that cart he he, yeah. he flips that <laughs> cart that cart smacks the i mean that dude had broken bones at some point because that dude got jacked up um so uh so yeah i i really like how how they kind of made the car almost like an extension of baby like that's his that's his his weapon of choice which is yeah which is really funny. It's just a great opening. They 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 get the you know they, they finally get get away. They jump into the car. Uh, uh, Darling drives and baby sits to the passenger side. And then you get you know you get the splash screen. Baby driver. Like this is the, you, this is the movie you came in for. So good. Did you catch the credit scene? You probably did. That the lyrics to the song he's dancing to when he goes to the coffee shop are written on the buildings. Yeah. So okay. So that so that's next to my notes. By. And I and I wanted to talk talk about that. Phil, did you see that? Sounds familiar. So not I, every lyric, but when he's most going of the key to, words um, are popped up. Yeah. It's uh what Har- Harlem Shuffle. The song is Harlem Shuffle. And uh and move it to the left. That that song. Is that- um so it's like on the different poles, you have like whoa, 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 <laughs> which is great. Yeah. Um and uh yeah, I th- I thought it was cool. That also if you'll notice when he goes into the coffee shop to get the coffee, um, there's on the on the wall behind him, there's a heart that's black. And then, and then he sees uh, Deborah walk by, and then when it kind of when he circles back around, the heart's red now. Um, it's, oh, it's, it's good. No, but I that. that was at the beginning. Yeah, when he it was in, after the, of the coffee shop chase. Yeah, when he's chasing. 
Yeah. And then he go and then when he, he goes, goes and gets coffee. octane coffee or whatever. Yes. Yeah. 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 He sees so, which Deborah by then? the way. Yeah, he sees Deborah. Yep. He, while he's waiting for the coffee, he sees he a walks by pie. outside. Yeah. I totally missed that. Yeah. Come yep. on. Go watch Come it on, four man. times. <laughs> yeah. So, stop watching Ted Lasso. Let me just say that um that uh that coffee store employee, that guy made coffee faster than anybody I've ever seen. That oh, was it, the fastest oh, coffee crazy. made. Crazy. Yeah. He's like, boom. Four coffees, bam, here they are. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, but 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 I, I, I do want to talk about the opening scene because um, up until this point, the first time you watch it, I, I don't know that you know what kind of movie this is going to be, right? right. So we, we get the scene where he's kind of being a big doof in the car by himself. And then we have a killer chase scene, which is legit great. And then you have this dancing <coughs> coffee scene where he says his name is Baby and there are words written in graffiti everywhere. And uh, I wasn't sure. Like, how, how do you feel about, like, I, I feel like that that opening is uh, not the opening, but that that coffee scene almost doesn't fit in the movie. Do you think? Yeah, but he, so I think it doesn't, it, if, again, I'm not a, I'm not a, a four viewer, <laughs> but doesn't the coffee thing, pl it plays later. Like coffee is his thing. Cause he's going to get coffee. Yeah. When he tries to tell them he's leaving. So uh, yeah. Is it just a tool I, to kind of set it up? Like that's a thing he does to I calm see it down as, for these heights yeah, or whatever. A, yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I, to me, he's got to keep his composure in the car and then that's his wind down. It's like, I'm going to just kind of let it out and go get the coffee, dance around, let off some steam. That's kind of how I read it too. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't I don't I don't mean so much like him, but I mean like the the graffiti and like the like the extra just the prop visual. work. Like it just seems because we don't do that anywhere else in the movie. There's yeah, nowhere else in the movie that does like prop work like that. But it's the credit scene. I mean, it's like it's kind of its own little thing anyway, you know. Yeah, I guess so. That's how I see it. I, 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 like, I, I don't. I don't. Ma I'm not mad at it. I just. I you feel seem like, mad. You seem like you I, I, I'm, down. I'm, I'm, I'm down. furious. I'm furious. Yeah. The um, I just. I, I, I don't know. That that's the only part of the movie that I feel like doesn't necessarily flow with everything else because it's such a visually different thing than they do at any other point. I just. I feel like that maybe we should have got at least one more scene. Or something like that happened. I, 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 I'm gonna walk that back. There, there's a couple like the laundry mat. You get the you get the record in the laundry mat. Um, so maybe yeah. I don't know. We'll see. You also all right. get all You're the crazy. laundry. I am crazy. Colors. Yeah, yellow, red. That's right. That's it's right. like that's right. right. Who has that uh, many fun, uh, color clothing? Fun note: since you brought up the laundry, um, so <laughs> they uh, there there were only two sets in the entire movie. Anybody want to take a guess what they were? If you don't, if you if you don't know, two actual sets. actually like built sets, like not real. Oh, places. you mean like they didn't film on location? They used yeah the warehouse, so the warehouse gonna, room, not the warehouse. You're gonna say the laundromat? The, no, not the laundromat. Oh. No, no. <laughs> this so, was a total, uh, <laughs> total duke job. Uh, how about the apartment? <laughs> so the apartment, the apartment was a set. Okay. It was it was that built he shares with Lou, with, uh, grandpa, uh, and the and the diner. And the diner. Joe. The diner. Joe is the guy's name. Joe. Richard. Joe. The foster yeah. dad. Um, everything else is, is it was shot on location at a real place. And so the the uh, the laundry mat, they didn't have like, the, there's no switch to keep the laundry going. So they, they just had the crew between every take go in and put quarters in all of the machines. <laughs> they had to keep oh, doing man. that while they shot at the laundry mat. I thought that's, it was funny. That's crazy. Yeah, that's so good. I, I love. By the way, I love the laundry mat scene. Um, I love the the Deborah song from from T from Trex. From um, Trex. And Trex. Uh, and I love their kind of conversation, dude. I God, I love this movie. I think. L let me just say this. I think this movie is flawless. Like I I, I think I. Fan I wrote in my notes. I wrote, "There's nothing <coughs> not to like about Baby Driver." It's oh. it's it's it, it, the the word I would use for this movie is immersive. It's it just sucks you in, yeah. And you're just like, "What is happening?" But I'm loving it the whole yeah. time. It just hmm. you're in. Totally I'm surprised in. Donnie likes this movie. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, what yeah. What is your take? You, you haven't given us your take. Yeah, on Phil, what, what do you think? Well, I've seen it four times, so it's hard. I liked it oh. a lot. I thought it was great. Sure. I, I, I uh, tried to watch it a second time with Gav, my son. <laughs> well, I want to watch Ted Lasso. 
<laughs> oh, the wrong choice by the we way. were up uh, and i was like let's watch something and i was telling him about baby driver and he was like i'm intrigued that sounds really good and then i was like yeah and but it's no ted last something else <laughs> did you watch it by yourself or did, did carrie watch i it did i watched it alone okay i uh, i'd like to get carrie's <laughs> carrie's take on it i think she would have liked it yeah. i i think it's she would have found it fun uh i sold it to her as like a romance story tried to get her to watch it with me as well she probably yeah. will i think they'll both is. watch it with I me i think it is uh no i really liked it i i again i didn't know exactly what i was getting into i knew it was a heist movie um i wasn't certain how it was i didn't know I, like it didn't necessarily conform to tropes and which is nice right like it's a little bit yes. refreshing but not in such that's a contrived Edgar way right. yeah yeah that's but it wasn't that's like Edgar contrived. Right, period yeah like it didn't feel like you got to the end and you're like, okay, that was just somebody. It wasn't like M Night, just trying to make something different. <laughs> yeah, it was like it. It still told a cohesive story. It got you to a place, and it and like you know he goes to jail and she waits for him on the other side. Like I really thought even that they were gonna get him out, right? Like he yeah. was gonna all the positive referrals and all the stuff. You know he was gonna <laughs> excuse me, COVID. Yeah, <laughs> but um that um yeah. that, I, want, you know, I, get off I want on parole our... or like a like not parole but like on a probation or whatever but no they put him in jail for five years and um and then yeah it, it doesn't so i thought it was quite... realistic oddly realistic yeah yeah i well but yeah i i thought i love the driving scene love the opening chase scene with the red cars it was great um <laughs> i did see jamie fox's death coming um yes. well they, they kind of telegraph yeah, yeah when they pull up like, to that rebar i was like oh they show it like about three times yeah. Yeah. yeah i was like did. come on that's a little too much man they yeah, should agreed. not have i think yeah. that if they had not shown us the rebar at all it would have been crazy we would have been blown away yes. when oh yeah it happened we'd have yeah. been like holy crap yes he's gonna fight his way out he's yeah. not just gonna run away yeah I agree. I, I I definitely agree with that. Because oh, you, also you know, on that scene exactly. when uh, Buddy drags him out of the car, and he's like, "What did you do?" And he's like, "I moved." Because <laughs> remember, Jamie the yeah. bats is yelling, "Move, move!" And he's oh, like, man. "I moved." Dude, there's some there's some great like there's some great just dialogue like it's this movie is so well this movie is flawless this movie is it's so Edgar well right man Who was I know the kid by the way so well we're talking about casting we know everybody in this movie except baby i don't know that guy oh yeah so he he's he's gonna be in uh west side story um the new uh steven spielberg oh, doing west side oh. story oh i hate you <laughs> i don't know who he is i um <coughs> so he uh let's see um is he a jet or a shark uh I, I i don't i don't uh he's the lead guy what what is that what i don't that? know I never saw West Side Story. Is this West Side I've Story? Watched. Is this is this Baby Driver Two, the West Side Story? No. Edition? No, but by, by the way, since you bring that up, Edgar Wright is working on Baby Driver Two. I did see when looking at some things about this movie that there's a there's so so the girl who plays Deborah, I guess, also sings for real. Like she's done some recording work. Uh, yeah, yeah. She she was also Cinderella. And, and in the live action remake. remake but one of her albums is listed as the baby driver 2 soundtrack oh great so I'm guessing yeah go deborah they're all gonna be there go it's deborah de yeah yeah it's definitely it's definitely happened so um let's see so you so your boy here uh was in the divergent fault series? in our stars fault in our stars and then he was in he he was the that was his first big break i, I guess was fault in our stars which is some like is cancer the, cancer the romantic boyfriend movie. in cancer in in fault in our stars yes Barf. the main guy <laughs> You know, did you, you watch that, that movie? movie, Phil? I read the book. Oh, it's, it's terrible. Movie. That's terrible. That's terrible. I don't remember if I watched the movie. I read the book. I would never, ever. I remember. like John Green. Not going to happen. Not. Hey, I have happen. a question. He has a podcast or like he does a, he, he does a don't mental plug floss. other podcasts. On he our does podcast. mental floss videos and they're this hilarious. This is the only it's podcast fun. that exists. Stop telling no me. No other podcast more. matters. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the question. one I'm starting about Ted Lasso. <laughs> and I'm going to be guest, guest uh, starring on that one as well. It takes place during this show. I'm, I'm out. One more <laughs> and I'm out. 
So I'm not telling I have a you serious need to question. watch it. I'm just telling I you. I have a serious All question right, about this movie. Who is the bad guy in this movie? Is it Jamie Foxx? Is it John Hamm? Is it Kevin Spacey? It's crime. Is it any of them? Yeah, I, I don't really think we have. They're all bad guys. Yeah. Even Baby is even a baby's a bad killer. Guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I, I don't I don't I wouldn't call him a killer. Jamie Foxx. I would call him a criminal. Well, that's true. He does well, but him. yeah, but I mean that he was he pulls the trigger on um John Hamm. But he shoots Buddy, but doesn't kill him. So but Kevin he, Spacey he twice, actually, actually yeah. What's Kevin Spacey? Doc, right? Doc? Doc, yeah. So Doc is a real wicked dude, obviously. He drags him back in. It's like the whole Godfather 3. Just when I thought I was getting out, you dragged me back yeah. in. You know? So he brings him back in, which is terrible, because he's baby's got his whole life laid out. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. I'm free. And then he brings him back in. But then at the end, he takes care of baby. Like, baby yeah. comes back to him and is like, I need your help. I got to get out of here. And he gives him you know the tape and he gives him money and he's like gives him the car key even so it's like him how to get away yeah yeah he gives him the whole plan he's like you know i was in love once and so i mean he's kind of i wouldn't it's not a redemptive arc because he's a terrible human but it's a little bit of one i feel like bats is probably the most bonkers (laughs) all-in bad guy in this movie like he just has no redeeming qualities at all i get the Um, impression that bats kills everyone he works with i think he says that he says did yeah. we meet before no yeah, well, yeah that's no. Are, you still alive. are you alive yeah so i guess we didn't meet before so let's, we can, meet. can we since we're talking bats let's talk about that shootout scene okay hang on wait yes. before, before we talk about that I, wait hang on i, I want to defend bats for a second i actually think bats is a pretty good guy like 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 i i, he's I don't sociopath think, dude i mean he's crazy no 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 I, I i understand that he's crazy but like he has a couple scenes with baby where he's like trying to you know tr- teach him you know like 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 this like this like the scene when he's talking about getting feelings after he misses his shot in the gun and he's like hey man when you catch feelings in this line of work that's when you catch a bullet yeah but he's also aiming a shotgun at him i know he says it. I, I, I mean he's definitely crazy i'm just saying like <laughs> i don't like i i think in his way he is trying to look out for baby and then you even see it when he's gonna go kill deborah and baby grabs the gun and he looks at baby and he's like, okay, all right. I see what's happening. And he walks out. Like, I mean, I, I think but he was literally about to go shoot that girl. Yeah. Well, no, I know. He's a psycho. I mean, yeah, he's, there's <laughs> like, no he's not just a bad him. guy. Like he's not just a criminal. I don't know about that. He's a horrible human. Like, I don't know. Yeah. He's, he's one of those people. And I got what you're saying. Like he's kind of trying to take this young kid under his wing. But the only thing he's trying to teach him is how to get by in the underworld. Yeah, to like, be to be a bad, a bad person. I, now, I will say this, it. though. Jamie Foxx, who I've not seen a lot of Jamie Foxx movies, um, uh, is great in this. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think I'm everybody not a, I'm not a, is great in this. I agree. I'm not a Jamie Foxx fan, but it, he's really good in this movie. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the shootout. Sorry. Um, the shootout. Did, but, did Doc know they were dirty cops? I think so. Or yeah. was he just portraying to to bats that no, no. he's in control? Yeah, because he had the code word bananas. Remember, and the guy that lived comes at the end at the elevator, and he's like bananas. Mm-hmm. Like he, he, yeah, those were his guys for real. Okay, then my second question is, why do they go through with it? They just mowed down a bunch of cops. You know, there's this whole conversation about how the they're gonna the city's gonna be crawling with cops. Yeah. In 24 hours. Like, are these guys not smart enough? And again, I know the movie's flawless, but just you know, gotta pick <laughs> something apart. Is are they not smart enough to know when to not go through with it? Like, don't they have a like doesn't it seem like they should have just been like, uh no, we gotta walk away. There's like I always feel like that and they even connote it in the movie. That line of work is filled with superstition. And yeah. I just feel like those, every one of those dudes just walks away. There's well, no Bat, way. I think Bats actually kind of addresses that, though, because when, when uh, Doc mm-hmm. says, we're going we're gonna to all split up and go home, I, Bats is like, no, those dudes were all kind of independent. They're all dead. Nobody knows anything about them. They're not going to know before. 
before we pull the job off because yeah. they're dirty cops anyway. I mean, and so, <clears throat> sure. and by the way, do either of you know who Paul Williams is, the guy in white that he shoots? No, no he's no, a, no. he is was he a, a singer. No, no, not that. He's not the little person, but he was a bit, he was a singer, I think, way back in like the 60s and 70s. He's a pretty popular guy back then. Oh, he was in funny. one of the Smokey and the Bandit movies. But okay. there's there's singers all through this movie. There, a lot of the actors are singers. Yeah, I know that the people at the bar with uh, at the restaurant with Doc yeah. were singers. Well, yeah. Flea, Flea is one of the yeah. guys. He's is he, what is he from? Pearl Jam? No, mm, no, uh, Red Hot, Hot Chili, Chili Peppers. Peppers. Yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and there and yeah, the JD guy. He's like a drummer or something. Yeah, it's a bunch Who, of them scattered throughout. The Asian dude with oh, yeah, all the, the winds up in the trunk. Yeah, the guy in the Hat. trunk. The guy, the which guy. by by the way fun fun <laughs> fun note fun note that was actually uh edgar wright didn't say exactly where it came from but he did confirm that that was taken from a script that he wrote for a movie that he in, did not do which we all know was ant-man so now just now what what, what's that what are we talking about what do you think when he says hat he's like i'm sorry he's like what your tattoo says hat like yeah he used to say hate but i got the e erase <laughs> For, for better job opportunities <laughs> and he's yeah, like yeah, the, how's that working out for you he's like everybody loves hats <laughs> but the line the line though of how's that working out for you is from fight club which he watches earlier yes, earlier from, all of and those it says lines that line again yes that's right so baby is like dialed into in his responses to people in the real world he's I, drawing yeah. from like even movies and like he's not even really interacting with him on his own. Doc yes. gets mad later in the movie. He says, "I hate that you when you say that. That's from Monsters. Monsters. I, when I yeah. figured out Monsters Inc. I think Baby has like Aspergers, something. Yeah, Maybe. yeah. He's definitely different. But hang on. In I, fact, wait, 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 wait. Typical. I don't want. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave the hat joke. So I, I just oh, now I want you to picture. Now I want you to picture Paul Rudd saying that. In the beginning of Ant Man, when he's in prison fighting those guys, Paul Rudd, it, as funny as this was in Baby Driver, Paul Rudd delivering that line would have been immediately. Classic. Do you think he would have said it to one of those guys in the jail, or do you think he would have said it to uh, one of the guys on his crew? Yeah, yeah, the guy that has the van. What's his name? What his Hispanic oh, friend? Yeah, the guy that yeah, gets yeah, him yeah. the score. Michael, with... yeah, Michael Pena. Michael what? Pena. Uh, yeah, 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 I forget. I forget his name in the, in the movie. <laughs> anyway, I got the van. Dude. That's... <laughs> Anyway, sorry. I just that that joke cracked me up every time. I, mean, I, I watch it a lot now, and still every time I see it, I just love his responses when, when, when he asks him, "How's that working out for you?" Yeah, and his response is, "Man, everybody loves hats. Everybody loves hats." <laughs> you see, a boss is like, "I guess oh, I didn't. Pick I love up your on tattoo, the... and and I love hats. You're, you're I didn't pick up on the <laughs> Fight Club thing, Donnie. So like you're saying, yeah, there's that like... he has no original." Not um, with, not with, um, at least not, not with the criminal element for sure. Yeah, well, no, 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 world. because because remember the very first scene that we see in that little reel is "You are so beautiful" from Little Rascals, and that's yep. what he and says he to Deborah. That. He says that yep. with Deborah. And well, that's then, true. He does. And then and then we see the movie with uh, Meryl Streep, um, and uh, they just John grow Krasinski. up. Yeah, they just grow up yeah. so freaking fast or something he like that. He uses that with he uses the, that the dollars. The, in the, he uses that in the post office with the kid, huh? What movie is that? Uh, I don't know. I was wondering that myself. Yeah, yeah. I, so he I uses that. Movie. Then he uses he has the, Fight Club. He uses the Fight Club line. And then Monster Inc. He uses the Monster Inc. Now there's another. There's another scene there. There's those four scenes, and then there's a bullfight scene. Oh, that's right. So he doesn't ever say the lines of the bullfight, but I took the bullfight. Here we go. This is Donnie's interpretation. I took bats as the bull. Oh, and he's and he stabbing them with the sword. Yeah. And there's red wow. everywhere because they talk about the red of the cape. When yeah. When the, when the, what do they call them? What do they call those guys? Matador. Uh, Matador. Matador is waving and, and the lady's like, oh yeah, the red, all he sees is red. And he's, sta you know, he's stabbing the bull or whatever. And it's like, I took that as like, he got yeah. that idea from that, show and it's yeah. like this is his whole life his whole interaction yeah. is media driven yeah 
Yeah. So that might be a lot to read into that, but I, that's how I took it. No, I, yeah, I, I, I dig it. Yeah, because I, I was actually wondering that because he doesn't ever say the bull line uh, or anything from from that uh, that line. That John Krasinski movie was it's complicated. <clears throat> it is complicated because we didn't know what it was. Um, I'm picking that for Jim next. Halpert in a movie. <laughs> you pick, you pick that. Movie. We're watching it's complicated. <laughs> We're watching it. John Krasinski Please, is the no. best. Um. <laughs> So let's talk about, uh, I don't know. So let's talk about the second heist. The second heist was the truck. I like that it was a truck. Um, again, oh, yeah. I, I like that these cars are just, you know, rando cars. Um, I do like in that, in that heist, how he, um, he doesn't want to see what's going on. So he, he pulls up just a tad yeah. so he can't see anything. And then, and then when you pull back, you see, which is, which is really kind of cool. Uh, the masks. So uh, fun note, uh, I, was, I was doing some research on the masks. Um, uh, so the uh, the people you're gonna tell me that this actually happened well no someone so, sent somebody on the staff from mike myers mask and that's no, no. they came back so so here so 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 he, here's what here's what actually the, the plan the script was that two of it because remember if you remember a uh, doc told them to not all buy their masks at, at the, the same, same time. time so they were all yeah. supposed to get their own mask but you find out that hate or hat he he actually buys all three of them because because he's like why'd you get this kind um and so so that that was a script change because the plan was that two of them were going to have how the, the actual halloween guy oh, yeah, actual and, then, and then and then and then hate was going to have hat was going to have uh, mike myers but at the last minute the halloween people came back and said they didn't want uh, michael myers's likeness used for comedy and so they would not let them use the masks. So he had to call Mike Myers <laughs> and ask him if he could use all three Austin Power, you know, Mike Myers masks. And uh, and uh, and they and and so he said that he would, but he had to. He said he, he would let him, but he had to go over the scene. He had to read the scene with him over the phone, so Mike Myers could know what the scene was gonna was gonna read like. And so he read nice. the scene over the phone, and Mike Myers gave him, gave him permission to use all three. So that's why you that's get funny. the scene where he bought. What is all three. with Hollywood? I guess is this just them taking themselves too seriously? Oh yeah, we don't. Like, well, I need to Michael know Myers. how you're yeah. gonna. Use, yeah, well that and even even yeah, Mike, Mike Myers, Myers wanting yeah, to know how know awesome powers. It's like, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. Is there anything they could do with that mask <laughs> that you didn't already do in one of the old member for crying out loud? Right. Uh, That's not perverted or weird yeah, or goofy it's like, or whatever. <laughs> I would My think favorite. that I would think that when your likeness becomes or something that pertains to a character that you've created is able yeah. to transcend cultural kind of the pop culture arc, right? You're introducing Mike Myers to another generation of movie watchers. Mm -hmm. I would think those guys would jump all over that. Right. Yeah. You would think it's they're just caught yeah, up. But they're they're all man. it all just seems so pretentious. Like it well, gives I, you them know. some kind of yeah, some kind of an ego trip that I'm I have control over that and I have to prove it and all that's kind of stuff. Doesn't make any so. sense to me. Yeah, it's, no, I, and, and to me, it's I just agree. like I'm so I'm shocked that you have to call the actual. I guess they used his name, Mike Myers. My favorite just, part of that though is weird. when JD, the hate hat guy, he's like the 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 guy in the 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 horror movie. And he's like, oh, you mean Jason? Jason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That whole interaction is so good. And it's good because, yeah. like, Jamie Foxx is a comedian, you know, so so it really helps. Um, even though in that moment he's not trying to be funny, but yeah, like the whole back, he's like, it is Mike Myers. He's like, no, the guy from Halloween, or no, he's like, no, the Halloween guy. It's like this is a Halloween mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the guy from the Halloween movie. Oh, Jason. <laughs> no, you mean Jason. <laughs> so, oh. Chris. Yeah. You gotta talk about the the blue the blue pickup truck patriot guy that chases them. Yeah, dude, so that guy. Okay, go ahead. Let's I go. love that guy. I love that dude. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I like that guy is awesome. I love. Yeah, well, so 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 that that was the part that threw me. So I don't I didn't mind him him having the really cool brown you know like nine mil. He he gets out and starts you know start trying to shoot him, and then he pushes his seat back and he has some sort of machine gun yeah, in yeah, his truck submachine gun which is like yeah. i mean come on <laughs> that may be a it is georgia time out time out, time out. He's, it is in georgia. Atlanta. <laughs> he's in atlanta he's in atlanta that's right that's where the in walking fact, dead was shot so here's something funny fully about believe that. this it's very believable oh, absolutely 100 100 oh, believe this 
but there's a little a kind of a little whoever put the props together in this movie did it a fantastic job because when baby makes joe a peanut butter sandwich do you know the brand of the peanut butter that is in the cupboard if you look close you can see it no i didn't even look Publix. yeah Publix baby. brand baby deep south That's a, you know what's up deep south That's man southern thing man Heck yeah. So they must have so, really, I think they must have really filmed in Atlanta. What, they filmed, there's a lot they of filmed in Atlanta. No, they did. They did. Now it was okay. really now he wrote the script to take place in LA. Um, and then when they when they decided to shoot in Atlanta, he was still gonna make it in LA, which they do this all the time, but they decided to just to just do it in uh, in Atlanta. One of the one of the other things I read about Atlanta is they they agreed to like close down a lot of highways or like outskirt highways. And, and yeah. Edgar Wright refused because he wanted to be a big city urban movie. But but his primary reason is because he thought if they were on the, the smaller highways, it would look too much like Smokey and the Bandit. So he didn't want to have any of that. So he wanted it in the city. He wanted to have a different feel, which yeah, I, I think was great. Um, uh, but back to the guy's gun, like, you know, that dude, that character is... Is like, I finally get to use my gun. <laughs> that's true yeah. i'm gonna shoot yeah. indiscriminately at these criminals yeah yeah heck yeah and this guy chases them like i thought i, I gotta be honest with you i kind of dipped out for a minute like i was i was checking my email or something and then i'm like who's this guy chasing them yeah and it was like yeah. oh this is just citizen you know yeah john q citizen chasing he calls him he called Cowboy. Cats calls him the Patriot and oh, the, the Cowboy. Patriot. That's right. Now, yeah, I, so I will say, I will say and that a I, hero. I do like that he rolls his truck. Um, yeah. J j just for the purpose of like, that's not his job. You know what I mean? Like, if I was in a high speed chase uh, against like like professional drivers and thieves, I would die. <laughs> Because like that's not who I am, you know what I mean. So I, I'm glad yeah. that they didn't, you know. I, I'm glad they they again. I feel like this movie and Phil, Phil said it earlier on. I feel like that it does play very realistic. Like like there's never a point. It isn't like Fast and Furious. There's never a point where I'm like, oh, you couldn't do that in a car. Like everything feels like it should feel, which I think is yeah. is great. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I think this movie is flawless. Um, let me uh. You said you think it's flawless. I think it's flawless. <laughs> so yes, dude. Just, there, yeah. one thing we didn't mention in the in the opening chase scene, that drift move in the alley when he goes between the truck. Oh yes, and he slides oh around, and they and, and, and that's real. In. Like, come oh, on, I know, <laughs> crazy, dude. Oh, I love it. It's great. I love it. I um, love to be able to yes play with a car on a on like a like a closed set like that. oh no i was just gonna say i would yeah, love to drive like that <laughs> but yes then no, I like would to be able to take a car and go like full speed yes. and cut the emergency brake yeah and, you know like just to do it yeah that'd be fun i work, I work with I, my new job i work with a, an ex-cop and he and today we traveled to take a test together and he talked about the driving school and he's like dude that was the funnest two weeks of my oh, life. Man. He's like, you just get in there and they like <laughs> throw the switches on your car and put you in slides and turns and spins. You just, you're flooring this eight, you know, eight cylinder, you know, he's like, it's the best awesome. thing ever. Dude, that's I would cool. love it. Um, real quick, uh, fun note uh, that we, I, I didn't touch on whenever we were talking about the different movie clips, but this is the first and only rated R movie to, um, to actually get, the permission to use a Disney film uh, footage from a Disney film. Monsters Inc. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. for Monsters Inc. So that, that's nice. pretty fun. Um, let's, uh, I want to talk about, um, we're going to wrap here in a second. So be, uh, be thinking about final that's thoughts. That's ironic. And I don't want to get political. So I'll just reference it without naming it. That's ironic considering the text I sent you guys yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Time, My, how the mighty times, are, times are changing fast, brother. Um, Very. So I, I, I want to talk about uh, one other, uh, I think, beat in the movie. And then we'll and then I'll, I'll kind of like let you guys go with final thoughts or things that you want to share. And then we'll, we'll work to wrap up. Um, actually, I have two, one more thing after that. But um, so uh, let's talk about the ending. I want to talk about the ending. So <clears throat> they do this. Uh, originally, Edgar Wright wrote the ending. Um, to be a dream sequence where both Deborah and baby are in fifties clothes with a fifties car. 
and uh, they embrace and they kiss and they drive away. Now, the uh, they, they they played that as the original ending, and um, and so it was determined that they didn't really want it to end in a dream sequence. And so Edgar rewrote it so that that scene's still there. You get that scene a little bit earlier in the movie where she's in the 50s clothes, he's in a 50s outfit. And then they rewrite it to, to at the end where he comes out. <clears throat> now, the, here's the question. Do you think the end is real? Oh, geez. I never I thought about it, it. I took it as real because nothing else in the movie seemed to, pl- I mean, except that he was dead the whole time. It's real. No, no, it's I, real because I, I, because that's my theory about every movie. He's <laughs> Jacob's dead the whole ladder. Time. Uh-huh. Jacob's ladder. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just kidding. So no, I think it's real. He dreams. So he has the black and white sequence earlier. Uh huh. Then then but and it that goes is to dream. color. And then in the end, it, it's black and white. You're like, oh, now. And then it, comes the color i'm not i'm, not, like, I'm not arguing with you that you are that edgar made that change because the 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 higher ups did not want it to look like it ended on a dream so visually it is supposed to tell you that it's not a dream what i'm asking is if you think it is real because <clears throat> i don't i don't think that it's real oh you're crazy so you're being provocative you- <laughs> well okay it's possible that the second movie begins with him actually getting out of prison. Yes. Um, Maybe he got shanked in prison and he is dead and he is. We'll know him. when the <laughs> second movie comes out. We, yeah, we, we, we don't, yeah, we don't know. Um, it took, it took Edgar Wright 18 months to secure the music rights before even going into production on this movie. Um, so, uh, but he has this movie in his back pocket. I mean, sure, but he's also not in a rush to make it. Yeah, sure, sure. And so, I mean, we probably still won't see it for probably, I, I would guess, four or five years at the earliest. So that puts us at maybe 10 years down the road. So, so here, 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 okay. So see, the so, music rights thing, that, I'm sorry. Let me cut in real quick. That bothers me. It's like, it's like the likeness thing. It's like, what is wrong with you? Why don't you want your song? Like last I checked, you wrote the song so people would listen to the song. And now somebody wants to use your song in a movie, an entertainment, you know, like thing. And you're like, yeah, I don't think so. I, so I, I, I what, think what all, these people, I think on the music side, I think it has to do more with royalties. And so they have to work out like so a negotiating how much they want. Yeah, like how to, much? Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still furious. If I was because look, I, these I, same people play their songs for free on the radio. I know, I know. I'm saying that if I was Edgar Wright, or if I was a musician, Edgar Wright called me and was like, "Dude, I love your song. Can I just put it in my movie?" I'd be like, "Yes, sure. yeah." Like you don't pay me a dime. I'm gonna be in an Edgar Wright movie. I will take that. Just uh, you know, I, uh, the only thing I would actually ask for is a cameo, just like some of these musicians were. I'm like, you know what? You can have whatever songs you want. Just let me let me be in one scene. That's all I want. I want to be in one of your movies. Yeah, um, I, just, I just don't get these like. It, you know, oh, the family doesn't want to, you know, they have all these really stri- strict rules sometimes about yeah. like how dead artists can be used. And it's like, yeah, uh, hey, I hate to break it to you. There's this John Mulaney bit where he talks about working with um, uh, the guy from the Rolling Stones. Uh, I can't Mick, Jagger. Mick, Jagger. Mick Jagger. Have you ever seen this bit? He talks about working with Mick Jagger at SNL and they're mm-hmm. trying to write a song together. I don't think so. No. And he's just telling a story, like his experience of working with Mick Jagger and Mick Jagger's trying to come up with lyrics for this song. And, and, and Mulaney's like, is this how you write a song? Like, it's just like, he's like, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't, like, it's just like, he's just throwing every piece of crap at the wall to see what sticks. <laughs> yeah. And Mulaney's whole thing is like, I thought this guy was like a lyrical genius. And it turns out he's a, he's just a bumbling goofball. <laughs> who's just trying to figure out words that rhyme. Yeah. And yet, yet when these songs get popular, all of a sudden they're like, "Well, we're not really sure we want to. We don't use it in your movie." It's like, <laughs> what are you talking about? You you made a million dollars off of it already. You put it on the radio for free. Who cares? I'm sorry. It's yeah. No, you're good to rant you're about, good. but you're it good. doesn't you're make good. any sense to me how this business. You works. you're probably you were probably a Napster subscriber, weren't you, Phil? No, I didn't. I, although I did have a bunch of. Full circle, by the way, I had a bunch of illegal songs on my first iPod. Nice. 
Nice. I have okay. something to say about the iPod. Okay, well, hang on. Right. So l- 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 let's let's okay. finish. Let's finish the okay. conversation on the ending. Um, my, my my whole thought is that he he gets sentenced twenty five years. He, no, no, minimum five years. Minimum five years. Yes, twenty. But but still, like that's a long time. And uh, and I just feel like the last scene that you see is he holds up or he he pins up the picture that she sends, the postcard that she sends of that. uh, uh, The car looks almost identical to the car that she's in when he gets out. And then you get a black and white, which fades into color. Now, I don't I don't necessarily think that's not how the future is going to be. I just think in that moment, he's just envisioning what his life is going to be and i think they it, tease that and i think and, and like I, with having i think the rainbow gives cots. it away the rainbow is not real man there's a perfect rainbow behind him when he walks there is the a perfect rainbow i did notice that okay and now you got me thinking it could be a dream so i think so i think it's a dream but i, I do think that i, I think it feels, feels on to something i think that we, we will start the movie with him actually getting out but at, at this point let, you know i mean we're looking at maybe possibly 10 years down the road so i mean we can actually show passage it wasn't five years maybe he did serve 12 years or you know nine years or something like that and he's finally getting out and that's where the movie picks up like that's that's fine anyway Okay, let's uh, round robin, um, start to wrap this up. Let's go. Uh, any final thoughts, anything that we didn't cover that you wanted to throw out? Any, anything? What you got, Donnie? I know you normally have a list. Let's so start with you. I got three quick things. Let's hear them. One thing is probably just a, it's just a question about the movie that I don't think has a good answer. When they get back after the cop shootout, Doc asks uh, Bats. Bats says they shot first, which they didn't. And Buddy lies for him, which the last time we saw Buddy and him, they were trying to punch each other out. <clears throat> and so I don't understand why Buddy lies for bats in that moment. Like, why didn't he just throw him under the bus and they just off him or whatever? That didn't, that was the only thing about this movie. Because I think he still wanted to, to go through with the heist. Yeah, I, I think that it's a four okay. man. I think it's a four it's man. It's too job. late in the gig yeah. to replace okay. him. Yeah, that, that would be, that, I mean, that would be my guess. Too. And they're already planning to kill him when it's over. Remember, she, they talk about that in the car. Yeah, She's that's like, true. He they looked did. at me weird, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So they figure, yeah. you got, and I'm just speculating here, you got to imagine if we're going to kill one of the four guys, our cut's actually going to be bigger. So why yeah. bring in a guy we, you know, yeah, no, that's true. That's a good point. I didn't think that through very well, but that's not surprising. Um, uh, one other thing is um, the the tinnitus thing. He has tinnitus, the ringing in his ears uh-huh. because of the wreck. That plays in the movie a lot when he has his... Uh, it, anytime things aren't going well, you hear the the ringing, yeah. the 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 buzzing sound on the on the soundtrack. Yeah, there's only, there's only a cool. few times that you don't have music playing. Right. And every time you don't, you hear it. You also hear it at the very beginning. If you listen very good, right when the, like, right when the splash screen, it starts there and it kind of very lightly uh, kind of is, is kind of just, just out there until bell bottom starts. Right. Um, yeah. So I thought that was a pretty good little touch. And then uh, the last thing is when, uh, when, 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 uh, darling dies and he goes uh baby goes to reach for his ipod on the on the on the asphalt i'm in michigan so they call it asphalt so i said i know they do it's horrible do they really it's crazy so everybody says we're paving dude we're paving our church parking lot this spring we're at a business meeting and one of our elders is just says it keeps saying it over and over again and i'm trying we're about to spend two hundred thousand dollars on paving a car and i'm trying not to laugh because he keeps saying asphalt and i'm like that's not how you say it but my wife's like nudging it. me like what is he that's saying funny carrie's from here she doesn't say that yeah, yeah but yeah a lot of people start. do though a lot of people so do anyway not. so so baby goes to reach for his ipod and buddy shoots the ipod away yes. And it's, I, again, I'm probably reading too much into this. Maybe not, who knows? But to me, that was like, his routine was gone. Like yes. this thing has gone so south that now I don't even have my, my music anymore. And it was yeah. like, I thought it was very, a very symbolic I think I can watch it. Did, did music shot. stop playing from then on? Yes. Well, until well, so, he gets so, in the car and dials it in until on the, the car. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 I, and I agree. I, I think that I think that is, and I agree with you, Donnie, because I think in that moment, even when he's running 
from the police and going to the mall, he doesn't feel like he's panicking. I, uh, for me, I don't think until that moment, like you said, when, when, when he shoots, you know, he just sees darling die, you know, buddy goes crazy and he loses his music. He starts to kind of get a little crazy and you see it in the car. I mean, he is fidgeting, like, like, you know, he looks like a drug it. addict, right? Like I've, I've got to get a fix. And then he finally, you know, and then it kind of start, settles him down. And then he realizes, oh, I got this lady's purse. Let me give it to her. Um, which also that oh, scene yeah. when he when he pulls the car around, dude, circles the car. So cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Is movie. it really faster to do it that way then? No, no, but it looks so much cooler. It's way cooler. <laughs> and that purple car was bad to the bone. Baby. Yeah, I man. Love that so car. good. So good. So that's uh, that's pretty. What were you much, gonna say I about think... iPods? That thing, or did you have something about the oh, yeah, that, device? Yeah, that was what I was oh, okay. iPod thing. Yeah, but, I, um... I do agree though. That's I think that I think the iPod is kind of his comfort, like his his security blanket, yeah. and, and without that, yeah, that's... oh, hundred percent, yeah. It's yeah. kind of and, it's kind of a bummer yeah. because he's gonna get out. Let's say there is a second movie. He's gonna come out of prison into the world of streaming music. <laughs> you know what he's, i mean like that's what the creek. that's what the whole sequel is about there's no yeah. more driving in it it's yeah, just yeah, about him trying to get to an area he's where trying he to figure out how to signal. like i don't, I don't even... want to get to my song <laughs> buffering buffering he's just driving trying to find yeah. a good signal the entire movie oh i mean gosh. but like that's funny it's funny to me because that movie was made in 17 <laughs> and obviously it plays back right like he he it plays a little bit backwards but the iPod, that that's that click wheel sound, which is so iconic. Oh, so good, yeah. It's gone. Like it's, I mean, it's manufactured sound now on your phone. I think there's some apps. And I think when you change your, uh, you're setting your timer or whatever, you get that same kind of click sound. Yeah, you do. But um, it's not like it's gone. That but, wheel, like, but again, I, that's I, how I, fast technology is changing in our society. Yes, like the but, iPod. Those iPods look so bricky. Yeah, but but remember the the point is he's been boosting cars since his parents died. He was a kid, sure. So sure. like at that point, that's all there were, and everybody had iPods. So like that's what he he took iPods and sunglasses. That's why he has a bunch of them. So that's why he has such a. But yeah, in in, in the sequel, he doesn't have that collection anymore. So yeah, he's gonna start boosting cars and he's gonna start finding he's iPhones. Like, and he's like, this I'm car like, has Apple CarPlay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> like, he's he's like, car play yeah, he's gonna be completely lost. <laughs> he's completely gonna, he's, lost. He's gonna boost a Tesla and he's gonna, gonna <laughs> his mind is gonna blow. <laughs> So, yeah. but I, yeah. I just, it, the whole thing for me was a th cool throwback. I got my first iPod. Uh, I think it was like my 25th birthday, uh, oh, nice. probably a third gen. And I had that thing until I lived, uh, it got stolen out of my, ironically, it got stolen out of my car when I lived in Washington. Oh, that's funny. That's I, think, I think baby and did it. Baby did it. It had a lot of like, it was the same deal, right? Like it had a lot of music on it. Yeah. that i have only recently been able to find through apple music like there was a like a european cut of a song that, that creed, i was a big creed fan still am and it was one of their songs but they only released it on like a european album or a european version of one of their albums and i found that for free and it was on my ipod for years and i could only listen to it there and then it got stolen that's great and i was like ah and then i stumbled i on still it. have an ipod that works i still have one i should have brought yeah. it on here is it a is it a mini no, it's um, it's not a mini. Why isn't Maybe it leaning up mini. against the shelf behind? You? I don't know. I, I should. Know, I right. right upstairs. We're, we're looking at Beetlejuice, and I you know. have an iPod. Hey, this iPod. is a Come movie on. podcast. Come on. Come on. But man. I also had a Zoom. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. I remember <laughs> that when you I got that I was, bad. Boy. I was trying to get in on the. <laughs> so as soon as I got a Zoom. Uh, specs for the first iPhone dropped on the internet. Oh, that's funny. And it was like, oh, oh I man. cast my lot <laughs> the wrong, wrong way. way. I chose it took Betamax. Me, I put it all. Yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. I put it all on Enron, and this and is not I, uh, going well. Dude, I didn't get an iPhone until 2013. Oh, that whenever hurts Gavin, me. So whenever that, that hurts me, 12, is when I got my first iPhone. That, that's depressing to me. I'm very sorry. My Zoom, my Zoom is still here somewhere. <laughs> that's what we should do. We should have an old device. Oh, I don't have any of my old devices, but I, I did I did get a black iPod. Um, I forget what they call it, but it was, it was the first year that they added the uh, the video capability to it. 
Um, but it was still just like the small. It was screen, just right? still a small screen. So I had to click yeah. will. It was thin. It was it was a black front, silver back, but it had the screen so you could play. And I just remember you, your you, album you, you could buy. It, right? Yeah, but you could also buy like you could go to Apple. <laughs> so funny. You can go. What are you doing? You, you're, you're ruining the illusion here. <laughs> you're ruining the, scene, the illusion. <laughs> Look how good this looks. It looks fantastic. And you're it giving us great. a glimpse behind closed doors. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to watch the video, the video podcast. It's a blooper to, uh, to reel. See that. Um, so, Don but yeah, I, I, I remember, so I'm, I remember, uh, I bought, I bought a movie, right? So I bought a, um, I bought like, I, I think it was like twelve ninety nine, just because I wanted to have one <laughs> on yeah. my, and it was, uh, it was, uh, I want to say it was, it was either Spider Man or Spider Man Two. Um, I can't remember exactly. It, it was probably just the first Spider Man because I think, I think it was around the time that I got it, and it was, I mean, it was incredibly it's a postage stamp, tiny, bro. like you cannot see it. But I, yeah. I thought it was the coolest thing to be able to have my my movie. So we had Gavin a an iPod Mini. Which was okay. like looks like looks like the I, Apple TV remote. Yes. now yep. almost like yeah. it was that small. Uh huh. And it and but it had a color screen, and you could watch movies on it. And we bought him the movie Bolt. And That's it, it Bolt. It yeah. We saw that to, in the theater. To this day, I own Bolt in my Apple account because it stayed with me <laughs> from device to device. Like it's on my iTunes now. You know, it's like I can watch Bolt. Uh, ironically <laughs> i think i only ever had one movie in on apple on my ipod and it was mary poppins believe it or not that's i don't hilarious. know how which is also sorry we're way off track it's also on my list we're, of we're reminiscing of about ipod best man. movies of all time like, the technology advance now, okay now I'm, I'm going to give you edgar edgar wright edgar wright gave the 10 movies that influenced baby driver i'm going to read them to you they're in chronological order i was going to ask if you've seen it and if you have, if you notice the influence. All right. You ready? Don, this is mostly going to be for you. I'm totally no's. ready. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Because I'm, I'm looking at this nine list. Nine no's. No. Me, me too. Me too, Bill. All right. 1968. Bullet. Yep. I That was the first one I was going to say. I don't okay. think I ever saw it, but I know the movie. Okay. It's uh, Steve McQueen, right? Is that? Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mustang. Yeah. The black yeah, Mustang. Yeah. Chase, yeah, yeah. yeah. That Mustang's lit. Like, yeah that is no, a no, very cool yeah, car yeah okay i saw a uh like a replica of that at a car show like at a down in detroit so cool dude <laughs> so cool, it is a cool i've one. seen bullet yes i mean do, do you feel the influence i mean is it, oh heck yeah feel? okay of course all yes. right 19 the italian job on this 1969 list? the italian job the original there you go <laughs> there so, you go Right there, you go. Italian job. Never saw it. <laughs> Michael Caine. Michael Caine's in the original. That's right. Yeah. Well, um, Mark Wahlberg is in the remake. So that's right. Bam. True. So bite that. <laughs> have you seen the original, Don? I think I have, but it's okay. been a while. Yeah. Okay. All right. 1971. The French Connection. French Connection. Oh yeah. So Oscar influence? Oscar winner for best picture that year. Okay. Do you see? Oh yeah. The there, there, there is a there is a fantastic chase scene in the french connection okay i'm gonna have to i've, I've never seen that phil have you seen french i don't connection? like the movie i don't like the french connection as a okay. movie i think it's dumb well, the chase, but the chase scene is great but is, isn't it the italian job that has like the longest chase scene or the longest or is that the french connection like one of them has um yeah it might could be french connection i don't know all right 1971 as well vanishing point anyone mm -hmm. all right yeah. don right Car i haven't seen vanishing point but i okay. am familiar with the movie okay 1970 now we're in now you've listed movies everything up to now was before even donnie was born we're now that's in right. donnie's lifetime that's right okay here we go the, the, all these are pretty old 1974 dirty mary crazy larry oh yeah i've seen that <laughs> you peter fonda Peter Fonda seriously it. oh my god oh, yeah. i thought for sure I've this is it. the one that nobody would have seen it sounds like a drink I've seen it it does sound like a drink all right was it good i'm a dirty mary crazy larry uh it's not that great okay also 1974 freebie and the bean <laughs> Donnie i know bean. freebie and i know freebie and the bean it is if i'm not mistaken it is it's a was uh, Bill Cosby in it? I think Bill Cosby's in that. Are you kidding me? Bill Cosby. I could keep I'll going. I'll, you I'm guys keep talking. I'll you check Google it. Out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Or it could be. No. Um, it's James Con. 
Alan Arkin, Loretta, Loretta Swit, Swit, and Valerie, Freebie Harper. And Valerie Harper. Freebie and the Bean. Okay. I've never seen that. I know the movie, okay. but I've never it's seen It's an American that. buddy cop black comedy action about two offbeat police detectives who wreak havoc in San Francisco. No, never seen Freebie and the Bean. All right, 1977, Smokey and the Bandit. Now, come on, Phil. Heck yeah. Phil, come on. Smokey and Probably. the Bandit. Probably. <laughs> That's going on the list if you've not seen Smokey I'm and the Bandit. I'm not saying I haven't seen it. It's Burt Reynolds, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. I probably saw it. All right, whatever. <laughs> 1978, The Driver. I know it. I've never seen it. Okay. That is Ryan O'Neill, right? I think, I think so. Ryan and, and, and this is actually one like that's very heavy influenced. So this may be one we might need to uh, to check out. Um, it's not a baby it's driver a, podcast. It's a noir crime thriller. Um, Ryan O'Neill, Bruce Dern. Yeah. You and Donnie can start a side podcast about this movie and all of its influences. <laughs> Whatever. 1980, The Blues Brothers, Phil. Oh. What's that about? I've never heard of it. <laughs> I hate you. That car chase scene is insane. <laughs> it that movie. is insane. It is insane. I love Blues Brothers. All right, last one, 1985. To well, Live and Die God. in L.A. Oh, that's a great movie. That's so, um, that's the guy from uh, CSI. What's his name? William Ice Cube. No, the original CSI. <laughs> the main guy. You talking about the guy with the beard? The yeah. Grissom, Gil Grissom. Yeah, he um, was in To Live and Die in L.A. That's what's that about? I don't. I don't watch. Uh, CSI. Willem Dafoe's in that no, as well. I, I don't. I don't know. Um, so there you go. So th those were the influences. Uh, the, the only other note that I had, um, William Peterson is that yeah, William Peterson is that the opening coffee scene, the dancing, singing, uh, Harlem shake scene, 28 takes of that Holy scene, natural. 28 takes. Cause it was one shot, uh, done and they used take 21. So <laughs> they uh they did it and then uh and then and i like this uh when they asked edgar wright like what was his original pitch for for the uh for the movie this is what he said he said that he told him it was like the scene in Shaun of the dead when they're fighting the zombies to a queen song but it's just a whole movie just like that so uh and again i haven't y'all gotta watch dead, so. Y'all got to watch those three. They're they're just as good almost as this. I think this is probably the best. But those are really great movies. That's good. I mean, is so, Edgar Wright British, I presume? He is. He is, yeah. Uh, also, fun note, the only British person in the cast of this movie is L Lily, Lily James. James. Yeah, which is funny. Deborah. And it's also the only, the first movie that he shot in the She's United British? States. She is, yeah. Yeah, she was in. Uh, She's pretty good cast. The dark, She's the darkest hour with uh, Gary Oldman. Yes, she was in that. She was in that. She was, in, she was a secretary. Yeah. Yeah, she was in like Pride and Prejudice. Something. Yeah, all those British movies. Yeah, yeah. whatever. You know, there's um, a book called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Yeah, it may have been. Yes. That may have been the movie that she was in. written by know. the same there guy. Was also that wrote Abraham Lincoln Vampire. Vampires. Hunter. Yeah, I remember. I like that. I own that movie. There's a third book by that same author called Unholy Night. I recommend it. It's oh, fantastic. is it? Is it about Santa Claus? It's about the Magi trying to kill Jesus, or not oh. the Magi, but the. Yeah. Is it the pro it's about that night, and it's it's dude. I'm telling you guys. It's send it. Good. Send me a link. Is like, there a, send me is that there a, title? Is there a movie to that? Because I read I read movies a lot. Better. I do not think so. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a big movie reader. But that book <laughs> is fun. Movies. Like it's pretty good. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, we're off. Um, all right, Baby Driver, we got to rate it. Mm. So, uh, Phil, were there any, any thoughts from your side that we missed? Anything no, I liked add? it. I'll watch it again. I'll probably get Carrie and Gavin to watch it with me and watch it again um, in preparation for this podcast. Uh, <laughs> part, <laughs> all right. Part two. Hit me, part two. Uh, hit me I liked it a movie. lot. I okay. thought it was uh, it was kind of never a dull moment. Yes. Um, yeah, that's and true. I, and I thought it was really well done. Like, it was a fun movie. Yeah, it's not something I would have watched if you guys hadn't have said you guys should watch. You should watch this movie for this podcast. Like, You're welcome. Yeah, I mean, and then that the point of this podcast, right, is to yes. try to get each other to like. I gave you guys little giants. You're welcome. Yeah, you gave me a baby driver and a fair exchange. <laughs> that was a, a fair, fair exchange. exchange. That was a fair. Exchange. Uh, so words know, fail me. We man. did talk at one point, <laughs> a little behind the scenes, like production meeting, you know, insider. We did talk at one point about this about this podcast being about at least. A movie every time that at least one of us had never seen prior. Yeah, right. 
Yeah. Now, obviously, we we booted that with Tenet, which was the first movie out of the gate. Yeah. None of it was a new release when we saw. We did a new Tom release. Yeah, that was the point. Yeah. But then you know we picked that up with Little Giants again. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. And now Baby Driver. So I'd be yeah. curious to see what we do next. Yeah. And and, and I think because Donnie's never seen it. And and I think I'm that- <laughs> next. I choose next. And I think I I think that I think it's fitting too. I mean, it, it, you know, our, our, we kind of changed our uh, our whole our whole mantra here, right? And the fact that we are our goal is to leave no no good movie behind. And I think that that what that speaks to is that if you haven't seen a good movie. Um, or little giants, then we want to make sure that you see that. So, so we want to make sure that we're educating all of, uh, all of our, uh, all of our listeners as well as our hosts. And what's good is Donnie's seen way too many movies and I haven't seen nearly enough and Phil's kind of in the middle. So it it gives us a lot to, uh, to, to pick from. So um, let's, uh, let's do this, Phil. Why don't we come back to you and give, uh, give me a rating. What you got? Uh, I'm gonna go ten bedazzled iPods. Nice. Oh, you uh, stole any, my rating. Any any color? Any specific color? Uh, pink, pink we'll bedazzled. Or pink. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I pink like that. Glittery. I do. Pink I do. And glittery. I do. I do like. That. I was gonna go with uh, five bloody rebar, but I didn't want to give a violent Ooh. rating. Are yeah. you gonna steal That's all rough. my ratings? <laughs> I'm <done>. sorry. <laughs> Now I gotta think of something else. All right, Don. Oh my gosh. Was that was that, were those really your two backups? Yeah, I wrote 92 pink glittery iPods right there. Boom. And then I was going to say, how about 92 impaled Jamie Foxes? Let's go with that. <laughs> that's pretty good. I love it. Um, okay, so then, uh, so oh, that's wait. Going, oh, wait, go ahead. Let me just say this, if you're listening. This is probably one of the very few movies that we've done that is R rated. This is not a kids movie. That's right. The, yeah. The language, and really there's language, and for violence. language and it's violence. It's just a language. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's no nudity. And, and, and I don't think. Not even any sexuality. Like the movie. I mean, there's a few quick shots of not like really. tight jean kind of things, but there's yeah. nothing yeah. in this movie that was Some like. Making out, a little bit of kissing stuff. Yeah. But I, I, I but think. It, but it, I just, I just feel like we need to say that because we, yes, we're that's usually true. pretty. PG. Yeah, PG we don't 13. like to do hardcore. Type but this movies, is definitely but. an R-rated movie. So yeah, they um, you know, and I don't even think it's too violent. Like I, I think there's only a couple of scenes. <laughs> no, I, it's I think not that. The yeah, but dar- the, the darling death. And then anytime you put bullets coming out of a gun, sure, you're going to get an R rating. Sure. Now I, 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 I will, uh, I will say I watched this with my 14 year old daughter. Um, I, I made that decision, uh, you know, to, to, to let her watch it. And uh, the language does get pretty hard. Um, she, absolutely love this movie and has not stopped talking about it since we watched it so because it's flawless that's why and uh, with that being said i would give What's this movie, rating i would give this movie a perfect 100 sunglasses out of 100 and um so all unique prayers every all unique every prayers, 100 prayers every, everyone um inclu- in, including prayers. including the very last pair that's ju- just missing one lens one lens so that uh that is what i go i love this movie this movie is fantastic i'm glad that we got to do it. i'm glad that phil got to watch it um i i do think that it's rare that that we i feel like i i would put baby baby driver on a short list of maybe the maybe my top 25 movies of all time like i think it is fantastic and i think it's very rare for us to have a movie that, that i would rate that high that that all of us have not seen right like we've all seen flight of the navigator you know what i mean we've all seen you know Stop. before this podcast Stop. exactly so 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 for, so normally when we come i think uh i think i think donnie said a couple of days ago like have you seen tombstone of course we've seen tombstone because tombstone's amazing and that's how i, I was, was just asking no no i know i know but that's how that, i feel like that when we get <laughs> those quality type movies we've all normally seen it to be able to come with, with a movie this high quality that phil hasn't seen I was, I was really excited about so uh so that's a lot of fun all right that's our show anything released after 2010 even if it was great i probably didn't see it well there you go all right i just as i got older like i mean donnie was my movie buddy and i moved away from jackson in 2011 oh that's right yeah um and then uh i just didn't go to the movies a lot it's all Donnie's fault. Broke for the next three years, and now everything is my fault. Trust and now, me. And now the movies are dead, <laughs> so you know. Um, and be careful with that COVID too. Also, if you're listening, um, I guess we need to put a stinger at the beginning of the episode. We want to make sure that you're listening with a mask on. We want to make sure that everybody's safe out there. Um, so listen, <laughs> this well, is our show. I forgot, we're in, all over I forgot we're in Michigan. <laughs> we ha- we have two year olds that have to wear masks now in Michigan. Yeah. Got to be careful. 
You got to be careful. Only when you're swimming, though. So uh, listen, we're glad that you uh, tuned in. We're glad that you uh, downloaded the show. Um, this is a great movie. If you haven't seen Baby Driver and, it um, is. and you've made it this far, we've spoiled the entire movie for you. It's still flawless. So you should still watch it. You would still enjoy every moment of the movie. So we are done. Uh, you know, all of our stuff. You can download the show if you want. You can watch us on YouTube. You know where we are. You can find us. Uh, that's Phil. That's Donnie. Thanks for tuning in. And we will see you uh, next time. Bye. Bye. On movie squad. 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 Okay. When you're finished with a bowl of cereal, do you? This sounds yes. good. I drink. The do milk. you drink the milk? Of course. Oh heck yeah! Of course. What? No, come on. You what don't drink the milk? milk? No. Are you kidding? Come on. I mean, like, it's just like got like little floaty bits in it. Yeah, that's how you get it all. Oh, my God. Like, if I'm eating Cheerios, you can't get those last 10 Cheerios that are all desperately trying to escape your spoon. So you just drink it, and they come down your throat with them. Yeah. I don't, man, I don't like this conversation. I, Dude, I really if, you thought... eat cocoa, if you eat Cocoa Pebbles, <laughs> I mean, you're drinking chocolate milk, baby. No. Oh, Let me tell you what's in. Pe- Let me tell you what's that, in my that, cabinet that, right now. That fruity, that no, no, the, the fruity pebbles and the in the in the, in the chocolate cocoa pebbles, whatever the crap they're called, it makes you it makes the milk like 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 p- putty. Del- delicious is what <laughs> it is. Hey Phil, hey Check Phil, it out. before you say anything, before okay. you say anything, let me because I know what Phil's about to do. Phil does not play around with cereal, bro. He's about to tell you the cereals that he has. This guy doesn't play around. We, all right. We've cleared them out. So right now all we have is cinnamon toast crunch. Which is uh, amazing. And and the and the milk is amazing. Yeah. Honey, nut, so honey well. nut Cheerios. Yeah, it's okay. Which does a good job of flavoring the milk. milk. Gives that milk just a little bit of a sweetness. True. And then we have fruity pebbles with marshmallows. Yes, amazing. Oh my gosh. We had a cereal night at Phil's house uh, <laughs> about a month a month or two ago, and yeah. we bought all that all that junk, oh. man. Uh, we that had, at one point we had like eight brands, eight or ten different cereals in our cabinet. It's crazy. So let me give you some about suggestions. Sugar high. Ooh, uh, Honey Made makes a s'mores cereal. It is no 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 it's terrible. No no no, it is not. <laughs> it's uh those little graham i don't know what like uh like uh graham crackers with yep. marshmallows and chocolate puffs it's good it's i had it at your house bomb. it was amazing it's the yeah, Ted I had Lasso two bowls of cereals of um, or the baby driver of cereals depending the on the baby dude. driver of cereals would be fruit loops with marshmallows like mm, i've never had marshmallows that. bro no i've it adds an extra spring to it man Fruit Loops hey, are say this about, terrible. Let me say this about cereal. It was a fun podcast while it lasted. <laughs> let's be let's be clear that like sugar cereal is like the best kind of dessert there it's is. The only way it's, to eat cereal. No, I, I don't eat that in the morning. But like like if I wanted, I I don't eat sugar cereal anymore. But yeah, there's nothing better though than just throwing off all inhibition and just no. being like. I'm going to pour three bowls of Fruity Pebbles right now, and I'm just going to eat all of them. When we're done, I'm going to go eat a bowl of Fruity Pebbles. You're making me want Fruity Pebbles so And we have really, like, deep bowls. It's so No, you do. Oh, gosh. Fruity Pebbles is the best cereal, Chris. No. What's your favorite cereal, Chris? 100%. Okay, so so this is where the conversation is. I'm going to kick you in the I need, we need to, we need, like, a top three list, okay? (laughs) Okay. we, We need your top threes. Are we categorizing them? No, no, there's just top no, 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 top three cereals. Period. Okay. Full stop. Period. I'll go first. Are you gonna give all three? Are we gonna give one? No, no, we're gonna go. We'll go round robin. All right. Okay. Okay. It'll it'll be more fun. Okay. Okay. I'll give you in any particular order or just our favorite three. Because I don't know Uh, if I can sit down and come up with 
number three, number two, number one. I mean, I'm not going to hold your feet to the fire on this. If you, if you decide tomorrow <laughs> that you actually, that there's a different one that you for should have mentioned, that's fine. I'm, I'm not going to stop talking. Can I you. ask a question? Sure, please. What brought this on? What kind of personal tragedy did you have in your so, world that made so you ask this question? We were at marriage care and uh, the yeah, entire I, I knew group. I knew there was a reason. The entire group started talking about drinking the milk in their cereal. And I almost gagged. They're, and because because they're I didn't people? think that was a real thing. Do you drink milk normally? <laughs> like, are you averse to drinking milk? <laughs> I'm not averse to drinking it. I don't like. I don't like walk around with like a milk jug, like like a right. But like do you ever wino. go over and pour a glass of milk and drink it just because uh, it's good? It just depends on the occasion. Like like sometimes at night I'll, I I like to have like a glass of milk. Yeah, uh, but I don't eat, I don't eat like cookies or anything. I don't like cookies and milk. That's you don't dunk. Thing. You don't dunk your, your oh cookies. Pam. No, there'd be floaty, crunchy things. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. No. We, the other the other day we had donuts, and I look over and my son <laughs> is dipping a donut in his milk. I had to. That leave is the, amazing. I had to leave is, the table. What's, what's wrong with? <laughs> what is wrong with? You? I couldn't eat. You do realize else. the anomaly in this story is you. Chris. I need help. I need you guys to help me make, make this list back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay this is so, psychosis here we go i just top added three. cereal milk okay top three you ready here's the problem i don't know the names of cereals um so <laughs> just say it i'll help you i'm like donnie with movies and cereals. i like so kashi makes this nope you're uh, done this, 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 this does not matter you pick the brand kashi, of cereal called kashi kashi, you're kashi a makes this fruit this no. like fruit filled, this fruit filled no. mini wheat, and it's I love it. It's the best. I'll look up the it name, not. and I'll. There's a scene you. in the a second that episode is- of Ted Lasso where he pours a shredded wheat like bundle into his yes, bowl. Yes, because that's, that's how they like, sell it in the UK. You want to get breakfast? He's like, no, I just had a shredded wheat. Just yeah, I just had a up. piece of shredded wheat. <laughs> yeah, you crunch it up in there. It's like a big old hunk, right? No, it's not like this. They're they're little squares and they're filled with like fruit, like a, like a mixed fruit. You know, like I know what gel. you're talking about. I was talking about. We that's know number what three. You're talking about. That's you're number three. Wasting air. <laughs> that's number three. Kashi, right, Donnie. They have their own. They have their own section for Kashi in yes. the store, man. Yes. Because no one wants it in my grocery store. There's a section called uh, Fun Cereal. Ooh, <clears throat> like that. Like that's that's I like that. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. All right, Donnie. What's your number three cereal? Now again, I'm throwing off all inhibition here. I'm not going to be like, "Hey, I, I eat You're Cheerios." Not gonna say I, I, I like Cheerios. Don't you get me like wrong. Kashi. You like Kashi too, but right? on my list of top three, one of them is going to be cinnamon. No, toast it has to be in order, bro. Number three, cinnamon. So toast am fruit? I going number three? Oh, going number three. Yeah. Do you not know how a list works, Donnie? He just made one of your psychoses. I'm working on it right now. I know number one and two, but I'm well, having trouble should be at the top of the list. Then. I, I would okay. I'll tell you my number three. You ready? All right, let's have it. Ca- Captain Crunch. Oh my gosh, no, love Donnie, it. Don't do it. The fruit ones. It's the just fruity, like, do you hard, like crunch berries. It's no. like hardened crunch butter. berries. That's what it's called. It's like, like hardened the, like butter. The little, like the little like, tan pieces with the crunch berries. That's a solid pull. I love crunch. Uh, and crunch you berries. drink the milk after that always on every cereal there's no cereal i don't drink the milk okay You're... phil number three uh oh, it's gonna surprise you because i've talked almost exclusively about quote fun cereal uh but raisin bran okay raisin bran's good okay raisin bran's good that's a good cereal I hated it when i was a kid now you do put you... any sugar on it no no i don't put sugar on my honey no. nut cheerios either well no because they're honey nut cheerios oh, no i wouldn't do that do you put on regular uh, cheerios uh i don't have to um, I do. I, put I can't a remember bit. the last time I did, but I also so, can't remember the last time I ate regular Cheerios. Okay, Phil, do you drink the milk from Raisin Bran? Can Heck I just yeah. answer this question moving forward? Yeah. Is yes. I, always, I will also answer. Always, yes. always, Chris, you're disappearing into the blur <laughs> with the Home Depot boxes. So, <laughs> so always, Chris, always, always. It's not, I always drink the milk. Okay. You are in a group of people. Yes. What, what group was this? Marriage care. Okay, so it's like a kind of a like a counseling or kind of a support group. Yeah, I mean it's yeah, sort yeah, of sure, thing. Sure, sure. Married people. Yeah, just just okay. Supporting each other. Whatever. Yeah, just yeah. supporting each other. Yes. But you 
in this group are the only one that doesn't drink the milk and you think everyone else is crazy yes I okay, think that I that's a stat. Sure yeah. Crazy okay. people Carry always on. think normal people are crazy. What's your number two, Chris? I think, I think so. I think so. Give us um, number two. So number two is po- made by post. Oh, my gosh. You're killing me already. It's okay. it's honeycomb. Okay. Oh, no. Don't at no, me. Never honeycomb's for that. Honeycombs. <laughs> what? It's not good. It's, it's not good. Fantastic. I imagine they taste like kicks. That's like, like my. Uh, no, not not necessarily. Um, it's bland. <laughs> honeycomb is bland. Honeycomb is great. Okay, that's Do you like my, alphabets. That, you eat alphabets. That's the, the honeycomb is like my splurge, just like my splurge cereal. Gosh, that's awful. It's awful. All right, Donnie, number two. Number two, cinnamon toast crunch. Or crap! How did I leave <laughs> cocoa pebbles off this list? <laughs> cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch number two. Okay. Now it's a freaking sugar rush, man. Now that cereal is pure sugar. I will say as a teenager, not a huge fan. As a teenager, that was my it feels like scabs in your mouth. Yes. Like you picked a scab. What's not to uh, like? Come on. And it gets like like one of those really yellowy texture man. Texture shake it off. Not good. Put it on your tongue. I'm a big texture guy. I like I like that texture. Um, I did eat a lot of cinnamon toast crunch when I was a teenager. It, it was probably my favorite, but um, but yeah, I haven't had it in a while. The last time I did have it, it was just it, it, it like burned my throat. So um, it's way too sweet. I can't do that. Um, all right, cinnamon toast crunch. Phil, what you got? Number two. You know this is tough. <laughs> um, but I am. Oh, dude, this is a toss up. But I was. I'm gonna pick. Even though it's a newer cereal to me, it's this good. I'm going with the s'more cereal. Oh my gosh. It is good. Ooh, it's an good outsider, cereal. man. That's, it's uh oh, that's hard. It's gr- it's the graham, it's the chocolate, it's the marshmallow. I love a marshmallow in my cereal. Oh my gosh, I love a marshmallow in, in my mouth. You sound like ham from the sandlot. You take <laughs> the s'more, you the, yeah. the gram. But it's not like a all. it's not like a marshmallow, like like a soft marshmallow, Chris. It's like a cereal. Yeah, it's the hard crunchy ones. It's the hard, yeah, crunchy which are even worse. soften up a little in the cereal. They're fantastic. And you drink that milk too? I already told you. <sighs> Gum it. It is a fruitless question. Okay. You're not going to get a different answer. All right. Number one for, for me has always <coughs> been, will always be. Oh boy. Honey Nut Cheerios. Something. No, Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh, okay. Honey That's Nut something. Cheerios are it's the classic. goat. The go best like cereal it. of all time. Period. Full stop. The end. Okay. That is not debatable. They are the baby driver of cereal. Hmm. Okay. My number one is wrong. Fruity Pebbles. Oh my it. gosh! Don't. Holy mother! Now keep it. Keep in mind again. I don't have any of these cereals in my house. I would never at this point buy them. But I if why. I was going to go on a splurge, these are my cereals. But Fruity I mean, Pebbles, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then Captain Crunch Berries. Followed closely by any kind of cocoa, probably cocoa pebbles would be. But better. but don't, don't runner you up, feel cocoa like pebbles? yeah, it's my runner up. Don't you feel like you're just eating like fish Sugar. gravel? Yeah, no. If it doesn't fish matter. Gravel it tasted good. like that. I would have a fish tank in my house. <laughs> I would break my teeth on it all day long if it tasted that good. That yes, is terrible. I would. And that that stuff, it just becomes like like a, a solid glob of disgust. <laughs> that You're cereal dumb okay You're fruity crazy. pebbles is definitely out no pebbles at all is is, is a I thing pebble. i, love a I pebble. can i can slightly do like a like a cocoa crispy i can stop I can talking slightly, about her i'm gonna drive to your house and get some i can slightly do cocoa crispies but <laughs> i can't do pebbles pebbles are out all right phil what's number one fruit loops with marshmallows oh my gosh Ooh, good choice fruit they're loops so good let me tell you why cereal I like, I, I would only eat, um, uh, what is, uh, Lucky Charms because of the Ooh. marshmallows, but I hated also good. The, the, the regular part. Oh, that's the only part I liked. And so when they came out with Fruit Loops with marshmallows, it was like, holy crap. Because I will say Chris this, is, Fruit Loops Chris is like marsh- 12, Chris is 12 years old eating the fiber. Yeah, he's like, an idiot. Like, I, I need some regularity in my diet. Fruit Loops Take without the marshmallows, marshmallows out, mom. 
gets a little bland, but with marshmallows, it's all it's a difference maker. We no, buy understand. the large family, like the biggest box they make, sometimes two at a time. 